Most of you have learned by now that with R there is no need to have statistics tables because R has two very important functions. Here I've listed them, the p-norm function and the q-norm function. They tell us two things about any normal distribution. The distribution could is a normal distribution is determined by its mean and standard deviation. So we'll need to tell R what the mean and standard deviation of uh, of uh, the normal distribution is. But we can find the p, the probability, or the area below some particular q value by using the probability norm, the p norm function. All that we have to do is tell r what q is and tell r what the mean and what the standard deviation is and then it looks up in the table and tells us what that p-value is right there. On the other hand, if we needed to find the q, but we knew what the p was, the area below uh, the q, then we could find q by using the quantile, that's what q stands for, the quantile norm, the q-norm, all it would need to do is tell r what the p is, what the area below Q is and tell it what the mean and the standard deviation is. Let's look at a particular problem and see how this uh, this works out. Here's a problem that we need to find the Z value with 11.51 percent of the observations falling below that Z value. Okay, so here's what we need to to look at. My picture is wrong here because this P value uh, this p-value would be more than 50 percent uh, because we've got uh, we've got more than half. So 11 percent would be around here somewhere. I'll just kind of put that in. I don't know where that is, but but if we're going to have 11 percent, that's a point point one one. What else did they say there? Five one. 0.1151 is the fraction of the area that needs to be below this particular Q value, and we're trying to find that Q value. Now they're saying that that they 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 want the Z value. That means because we're looking for a Z score, that means that the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. Okay, so we're ready to to do that operation. Just pull that up here. We'll be able to to find that because I need to find the Q value where I'm looking at a point one one five one. That's what eleven point five one percent is in a mean of zero. I know the mean is zero because I'm looking for a Z score, and I know the standard deviation is equal to one because I'm looking for a z-score, a standard normal score. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not q, just q, it's a q-norm function. And so that value is going to be that particular amount. And because I did it in here, I can go to there, I can edit, I can copy, and just paste that right into there, and check my answer. <laughs> and of course, the answer is right. So, although it says to go and use a table to look this up in, I didn't need to, to do that. The next one is find the closest Z with 14.13% uh, of the obs observations falling above it. Okay, let's look at our picture for just a minute. If we're looking for 14.13% for above, then, then this might be about the right place because we're looking for, for point one four one three above. Okay, then what that means uh, is that this part that's below this 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 P that's down here 
the P in this discussion right here, where that one point, where that point one four one three is above, is going to be one minus point point one four one three. Do you see why? Because the total area under that curve has to be one. And we already know that the area up above here is 0.1413, so that's the area that's below. Okay, so that's going to allow me to to use my R to help do this job. Okay, I'm going to need to find the Q norm of one minus. 0.1413. Now I could have done that subtraction and just written that number in. <coughs> it's 0.8587 uh, or something like that. But I'm just going to ask R to go ahead and do that. And remember, it's going to be in a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Okay, so I can take that particular amount and copy that. And put that in here. Edit that and paste that in there. And check my answer. And there we've got it. You see, R has all the tables built right in with those two very powerful functions, the p-norm function and the q-norm function. In this case, we were looking for the z-value. We were actually looking for for a number on that that axis we're looking for a quantile in a standard normal distribution so I use the Q norm if the problem was looking for for where we're looking for a probability then would use the P norm okay that's it